Today I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a flat iron. I've divided my hair into four sections. I have this bottom section down, a section from about my ears back, a midsection, and then I've sectioned off the top of my hair. I have a one inch GHD flat iron right here. And we're going to start by grabbing a section of your hair that's about an inch, maybe an inch and a half wide. You put the flat iron at the root, twist, and then slowly guide it out. So you get a little twist with it. We'll do a middle section in the back and then come around and do the left side. You put it in at the root, twist, and then slowly guide it out. If you're able to kind of hang on to the ends of your hair until you can pull it all the way through, that'll help guide it through a little bit better. And always comb out the section before you flat iron it, so it'll smooth through easily. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit more curl to my ends over here. Okay. So we've got that bottom section done. If the bottom section isn't perfect, you can probably just leave it because it'll be covered by the top sections of your hair. So now we'll start on this side. And we're just going to be repeating the same method all the way around. Slowly pull it out. You don't have to press super hard, just hard enough to where the hair will kind of follow through there. And I'm not spraying the section before I flat iron it just because I want it to glide through super smooth. If you have trouble with curls holding, this may or may not work for you. It might be better for you to curl your hair with a curling iron and spray each section before you curl it. You'll notice too that I'm not combing through the section after I've flat ironed it. I want it to kind of hold that shape and cool down. And as smooth as you can pull it through, the better. And comb this side out. If you've got naturally curly hair, this could be a method for you to kind of smooth through and put in some ringlet curls because you're kind of smoothing your hair down with the flat iron and curling it at the same time. So give it a shot. So let's divide this section in half because that was just a little bit too wide. Drop that part I'd already curled. The more layers you have in the hair, in your hair, the more sections you need to take. Um, it, it's going to be kind of difficult to grab the whole section in one because you'll have layers kind of spiking out everywhere. So if you have more of a one leg bob, you can probably do larger sections than I'm taking. But if you have a heavily layered haircut, don't be afraid to divide it in more sections than you would think. So we'll move, our, move on up to this sort of middle section right here. There's a few different methods for curling your hair with a flat iron. Um, I know some people kind of twist it in their hair and then hold it, but I found that pulling it through like this gives you kind of a more consistent curl and less likely to get kinks or little lines in it. And you can kind of just let it drop and hold. The back of your hair is definitely the hardest, so if you're struggling with that, try dividing the sections that you're taking in half one more time and making those sections smaller. And then if one of your curls kind of falls out immediately but it's still warm, just slip a clip in there and sort of hold it in place so it'll cool in the curl shape. That one didn't hold as well. 
so I'm going to take smaller sections back here. This part of my hair is the thickest part of my hair, kind of from my ears below, it's a little bit finer, so I have an easier time taking sections back there. But at the top, smaller sections, plus you get a little bit more of a defined curl, which looks good on top. You don't need to have a GHD flat iron to do this style, but it helps to have a, a pretty hot one and a ceramic one. Ceramic means even heat, so if you do not have a ceramic flat iron, it's likely, but not necessarily true, that the heat in your flat iron kind of comes out in a pulsing rate, so it's not going to be as smooth of a, as a finish. But a ceramic flat iron is the same temperature let me try that one again. All the way down so you get this, the consistent heat and so then you'll get a consistent curl. Alright, and we're almost done. We'll do this section in two. You can try um, hairspraying each section before you flat iron if you want to. You just may have a harder time kind of smoothing it through, but it could help hold. straight piece in there. Ah, the resistant side of the head. This is my problem area over here, behind my right ear. It always needs special attention, so if you have parts of your hair that are just straight up resistant and will not cooperate, it's normal. My cat's crying to get in here. A little caught in that one. That was actually, I'm glad that happened so you can see if that can happen to you. That was because I didn't have that smoothed out enough. So I'm going to try that again. There we go. Smoothly going through. Okay, so now we're going to finish with the top. I like to divide this section in half. Keep all this forward, and then we'll do this in a few sections. So, start on the right side. So notice I'm just pulling it straight out from the head. Not necessarily pulling it horizontally, it's just going kind of straight out from the section I started with. Alright, so we're dividing this one in three. So we'll do the middle section, and then the last section on the side. The more you turn the flat iron, the tighter curl you'll get. So I'm holding mine just kind of one twist and then pulling it out. If you're able to twist it more, you'll get a little bit more of a spiral. in now and then I'm going to divide this top section in half just because that's a little bit too wide for the flat iron. I could probably do it with the curling iron but we'll just do it in two sections with the flat iron. vertically. Depending on the length of your hair, this may or may not be a faster method than curling with the curling iron. Um, I find, for me personally, curling with the curling iron is a little bit easier just because you can count on a consistent curl every single time. Um, and 
you can kind of put the clips in and hold it in place a little bit easier than with the flat iron and you don't have this issue with the curling iron. So I prefer the curling iron method but a lot of people prefer the flat iron method so you really got to just give it a try and see what works best for your texture. If you have natural hair in that it's not colored you may have an easier time with the flat iron because it'll sort of be a hotter sorry about that heat source so you can get a tighter curl um, since my hair is colored it gives it a good natural texture so the curling iron works well for me Let's give a little bit more of a twist at the beginning okay I had already flat ironed in my flat iron my bangs at the beginning and I'll attach a link to the video for how to do that at the end of this post. But at this point I'm going to kind of spin around and check the back here, which is looking pretty good. I'm going to take this clip out that I stuck in there from that curl that was falling out. And then once they're cool enough, if you want to spend now getting dressed or doing whatever you need to do after you've done your hair, the longer you let these curls sit where you put them, the more they'll hold. Um, but mine have kind of cooled down enough, I think. So I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of rake through it, not too tightly when I'm pulling curl out. I'm just simply trying to separate the sections that I just curled. If you have any hairs that are looking straighter, now is when you can kind of go in with a flat iron or curling iron, whatever you have, and sort of touch those up. So you can see I'm just really softly separating it. Curls naturally fall a little bit, especially if you didn't put any spray in them before you started. So you can count on them kind of softening and looking like they fit on your head a little bit better in like 20 minutes after you've styled. So I'm going to finish with a little bit of hairspray. I have Kenra Volume 25. You can see I've got all this lift up there because I put the flat iron in really close to my roots. So I'm going to keep some of that up there. And then just kind of go through and separate the curls, but not touch them too much. Because the more you touch them, when you have natural oils on your hand, the more you can kind of soften it out. You don't want to do too much softening. Check the back. And a little bit of my skin. And then finish with a little hairspray on the bangs. Okay, so there's how to curl your hair with a flat iron. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't work for you. It's not for everybody. And like I said before, if you don't have as many layers in your hair, you won't need to take as many sections. Um, but it does help to have a super hot flat iron, and I highly recommend the GHD. I've used the classic model, but I also have the professional model at my salon, and both of them are great. So um, whichever of those works for you, I think the, that you'll be happy with that. Um, and like I said, if you don't have a GHD, you can try it with another flat iron, but it helps to have a super hot, really high quality flat iron for this style. So I hope you enjoy it, and good luck curling with the flat iron.